Oh, this is me next tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be all. Let's see, um, we're going to be making some fireworks and blender. We're going to make some fireworks all down here, buddy. So, while we get on started, let's, let's see what we can do. Alright, so, we got your default cube here. You're going to use it. What you're going to do is you're going to look down and size it down. Okay, pretty small, pretty small. Gonna go to your camera view. Then you're gonna go to this tab. Then your particles tab. Add new particles to them. So what you're gonna want to do now is to create a firework. One that just makes one big boom. So, let's go and do this one. We're gonna have the start and the end at the same frame, okay? The life, you're gonna want 250, so it'll last the whole 250 frames. Now, it would actually last the 350, because it starts at 100, and it lives for 250 frames. So, if you wanted to do a 350 frame animation, it would last all of it. If you want to do it longer, just increase the life. Unless it goes out of camera view, so anyway, what you're going to do is then you're going to increase your amount of particles. You're going to do vertices, random. You're going to go normal, random, and very little negative on your z-axis. So now what you're going to want to do is Alt-A, and as soon as you get to frame 100, Boom! Nice big firework. Now, what we want to do is we want to have our um, camera out a little farther. So I'm just going to parent the camera to an empty real quick. And then uh, just size up the empty and make the camera go farther away. Select our cube and watch it again. See what it looks like. Alright, so there we go. We have a pretty good firework there, but I don't like it. I think it needs a stronger velocity. Alright, now I don't particularly like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do zero for the normal. Six for the random. Now you can do this with a cube, and it gives it a slightly different effect than it would with a sphere. Okay, and see, there you go. So, it's pretty good. But if you want it to be like real firework wood, you want it to be about negative nine and a half around there. And now, it kind of plops down a little bit. So, you can kind of switch this around a little bit until you get what you like. Um, you can do it with a cube or just switch views a second. If you delete your cube, you can add a, a UV sphere. I'll put okay there. And we're going to add a new particle system to it. We're going to do lots of particles for a nice big firework. Start and end both at a hundred. Life, just increase it up. We're gonna do vertices, random. Just our random velocity. And let's just go to your camera view. Size it down. Press Alt A. And it's a slightly different effect. Now, if we did all um, normal, it would come out looking as a perfect sphere. <laughs> See what I mean? Perfect sphere. And that's good for like if you want to do special effect fireworks. But if you want to do like a classic random firework, they're just going to increase your random up. Um, so let's drag this up a little bit. 
we can increase our negative press alt a again <coughs> oh god and um there you have a pretty decent firework now a different thing you can do is if you from your faces random and even and you animate it gives you a slightly different effect it's gonna play back up slower just to let you know it's a bit more evenly scattered it's kinda weird if you take off your even it'll look a little bit different it's starting to lag a bit but we'll deal with it So every time you change just a little bit of the settings slightly, it'll give you all a different effect. So that's that's looking pretty good right on there. So I think I'm just gonna use, you know, I'm gonna go back to our vertices here. Just use that. And so now what you're gonna do is you wanna add some materials to your your um, firework. So you're gonna say Halo under Render Pipeline. And, um, now what you're gonna do is you pick the color of your halo, and I'm gonna choose red. <laughs> and then you can choose the color of your lines if you decide to put lines in there. So I'm just gonna put some lines. And I'm gonna make those, um, green, or just light blue. I'm gonna decrease the halo size to about 2.2. .2. Decrease the lines to about six. I'm gonna advance a couple frames up to about. Well, that was a failure, so hold on. I gotta reanimate it again. And, um. <coughs> and there we go. We're just gonna get that slightly animated. Okay, good enough. Just skip ahead a couple frames. Sure, let's go with that frame. Actually, let me select my empty and zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now let's select our sphere. There we go. And I'm getting these beeping messages! Oh my god. Okay, ignore that. So what you're gonna do is just random this. And chaka laka laka, you got yourself firework right there. And you can change up all your effects here. I mean, you can decrease the hardness. You can increase the hardness. If you increase the hardness, you get a slightly different effect. If you decrease your lines and you advance up a couple frames, or even just keep it right there, just render, you get a completely different effect there. You get a different effect every time you change it. You can increase your halo size, get really thick and bizarre. And look, now it's just gonna look like a big ball of blue, you know? So, however you wanna do it, it's fine with me. Alright? Thanks for watching my tutorial, and I'm gonna see you later! Bye!